Okay, well, today is federal budget day, and uh, the economy has reopened, but the recovery continues. Yeah, Prime Minister Justin Trudeau says the budget is an example of responsible spending. What we're seeing right now is that the way the economy has come roaring back in Canada, stronger and faster than many other places in the world, is because we were there to support Canadians. And now we are making sure that we continue to be fiscally responsible. We will continue to present uh, that track of a declining debt to GDP because it matters to Canadians. And one of the people keeping a close eye on this budget is Franco Terrazano, Federal Director of the Canadian Taxpayers Federation. Thanks so much for joining us. So uh, you just heard from the Prime Minister there. They're focusing on Canadians and the need to invest in them and bring the cost of living down. So when you watch the budget today, what are you going to be looking for? Well, I think what we're hoping for is going to be different than what we expect to see. Now, what we're looking for, what we're hoping for is a concrete plan, a concrete time to balance the budget and to stop adding more debt on the Canadian taxpayers, their kids and their grandkids. But what we expect to see is another credit card budget from this credit card government chock full of more debt, chock full of more government borrow borrowing, which, of course, has to be paid back by taxpayers one way or another. Mm. And unfortunately, more money wasted on interest charges. Wow, Franco, you sound pretty pessimistic about this <laughs> budget. Is that a fair statement? Yeah. Okay. Uh, yeah, it's, mm -hmm. it's unfortunate, but um, you know, we heard the prime minister say that they're trying to be responsible spending, but we haven't seen that in years. We have to remember that even before the pandemic in 2018, the Trudeau government was spending all-time highs, which means in 2018, this federal government spent more than the government did during any year during World War II. Mm -hmm. Franco, I just want to get back into, you know, reviewing what we do know so far, a two-year ban on foreign home buyers, part of a housing affordability strategy. I think it's like $10 billion overall estimated to be spent on this housing package. Uh, is this good news for taxpayers? Well, no, I think this could actually add more fuel to the inflation fire because this is going to mean more debt. And of course, how are we going to pay for it? Is the government going to raise taxes? Of course, many Canadians are already worried about how we're going to pay for this unprecedented amount of government spending. Or is the government going to continue to use the printing press? to finance its deficits. And of course, uh, the more dollars that the government printing press creates out of thin air, the less that your dollars in your bank account or savings account will buy. So really the strategy, if we can call it that, that this government is trying to use to fight inflation is like uh, trying to put out a fire with, with gasoline. Wow. Oh, wow. All right. And so you had mentioned that this government tends to spend and spend and spend. Um, and so they're obviously trying to figure out ways to raise revenue. And one of the things that has come up is a tax on the biggest banks and insurance providers. Uh, what are your thoughts on that? Well, I'm really concerned, and we're very concerned for the Canadians who, who might be going to their banks and then having to pay higher banking fees, right? This could be an added cost at the worst possible time. Um, but also, I think many Canadians are worried. Uh, the government seems to be going after banks and insurance companies today. Well, which businesses, sectors, and individual Canadians are they going to go after with higher taxes tomorrow? And when it comes to deficit reduction, uh, this is little more than silly political posturing. Now, of course, the government has to take its $1 trillion debt problem seriously, but the type of cash that this money is going to bring in, the Trudeau government would blow through that money in about a day with the way that it's been spending. Okay. And last question for you, Franco. You know, obviously the NDP will rack up an assist for this budget. Is that a factor of concern or relief for the Canadian Taxpayers Federation? It's it's very concerning. Uh, the Liberal government was already spending like crazy before the pandemic. And in the last election, the NDP ran on a platform that wanted to increase uh, government spending by about $200 billion. Their platform was also chock full of tax hikes. So it's one of concern for the Canadian Taxpayers Federation. All right. Uh, Franco Terrazano with the Canadian Taxpayers Federation. We thank you so much for joining us this morning. Thank you. Well, thank, thank you.